Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother... What's going on everybody? This is the King Hunter channel with a new episode of War Simulation Infected. Today we're going to talk about the special perks of the infected players, okay? We had the steams, we had the flare, we had the drone gazer, and we're going to start with the steams, which increase the unit damage by 50% for 4 seconds. This is a level number 1. Um, when you start upgrading this perk, because um, you can pay uh, with brains and do some research, it's going to take some time. But uh, if you can see on the screen, there is a lot of different levels that you can reach. Protein bounding, metabolism, you can increase the damage of the unit, you can increase the, the cooldown of this perk. So the, the, it, it is completely worth it to upgrade these perks, okay? Especially Steams. Steams like an adrenaline shot, okay? Let's call it like an adrenaline shot for your troops. They can increase damage and, um, and in the higher, higher levels, they can also heal some of your units. Pretty cool, right? I mean, <laughs> it's a no-brainer. The flare, wow. The, the flare at the beginning, I wasn't sure what was the point of it. I mean, I know what was the point, but I, I wasn't really sold about how to use the flare correctly. And uh, if you analyze what is the objective of the flare, the flare attracts your zombies for four, six seconds. That is exactly what happened at the first level of the flare. Um, and then you realize that when you start upgrading uh, your flare, you can increase the movement speed of your troops. You can decrease the you can increase the duration of this perk. You can decrease the cooldown of this perk. Um, like you you can see on the screen, you can also increase the dodge capabilities of your troops. <laughs> so the higher the level the more you can get from this perk is really really cool and when you get to the higher level like flashback also increase the unit dodge chances by 50 percent that is great 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 and the last one is the drone gazer um i'm a big fan of this one <laughs> I'm big big fan of this one because it's the it's one of the uh, your aces that you have to counter snipers in the game Okay, at uh, the beginning of first level is gonna spawn five um, five drums level one from the ground, and if you can continue upgrading this perk, you can get uh, more drums. You can level up the level of those drones that are gonna come up from the geyser. You can reduce the cooldown. So I guess, like I say, it is. I know that it's really expensive. You can see two hundred fifty thousand in brains is. It's a lot of brains, man. <laughs> but it is totally, totally worth it. The the Geyser Drone is one of my favorite perks because of, like I say, you can it can help you to get to one corner to the other of the map in two seconds. All right, so let's get into a couple attacks and let's see if we can analyze the perks. Uh, let's go to Barcelona. Why not, all right? Let me see which... Who do we have? I need to start upgrading some of the other troops. But uh, no siesta <laughs> for the weary. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look to some of the perks in action. Okay. Uh, first, always you need to analyze the map. Uh, it's always important to know the location of snipers or spec ops. Like uh, we just saw some in the top. So we're going to try to avoid those until the drone gazer is loaded okay because uh, when we start deploying units then is when it start charging all your perks so and the gazer is the one that get loaded really really slow compared with the other ones so you have to survive with the steams you have to survive with the flares before deploying your drone gazer okay so right now we're doing okay the the steam pack was able to help us a little bit to finish those troops really fast one more time increasing damage increasing speed and now it's gonna help me even more because we need to destroy this barricade the drones regular drones are terrible against barricades but if you put a, a little bit couple drops of steams well you're in business right 
Um, one more time, now we deploy the flare in there to attract the rest of the horde. And also we're going to put some cesspool in the back to take care of the range unit. One more time, like I said, the steams uh, and the flare, they're getting recharged extremely fast now because of the upgrades that I have been doing to these two perks. Okay, this one is going to be tricky. There's a bunch of snipers. And there's another group of snipers in here, Spec Ops. But there you go. <laughs> Drone Gazer. Um, <laughs> no more snipers. Yes, and that, that's the whole idea. Sometimes you need to hold on the Drone Gazer. Sometimes you're going to see units dying um, until the Drone Gazer is loaded. But, uh, but it's worth it. It is worth it. You just need to know, like I say, analyze the map before deploying your units so you can uh, probably draw in your mind what is the route that your troops are going to take. And then calculate, like, okay, well, probably by now the drones are going to get to this area. Maybe the drone gazer is going to be ready by then and I can ambush one of the sniper troops. There you go. We're doing just fine so far. Deploying some extra drones and take care of this lumber guys <laughs> we should be okay you see yes we're deploying the um, it's not dr zombie wits i think i remember chuck chuck we beats or something like that i remember it, it changed the name one that you mutate the dr zombie wits for the third time start shooting or fighting with that chuck way or something kind of crazy but <laughs> i like it a lot uh, all right so we're gonna go to another another battles in Barcelona analyze one more time how we use how to use the perks effectively okay there's a couple of groups of snipers um, the gazer also allow you to attack enemies that are behind barricades that is also another crucial crucial way to use them so I'm um, trying to see what is the good way to deploy this unit I'll probably start from here and trying to engage those are spec ops right away. Alright, here you go. Drag now. Take care of the outlaw. Beautiful. Now they need to start. You need to see where the whore is moving. Okay, some of the special infected are gonna go in one direction. The whore usually is gonna take another direction. So let's be careful with that. Right now, I'm not really rushing. I'm just gonna put the the steams pack on the drag now should be able to kill this unit because I remember that I told you that it has a special armor so it can deflect some of the damage from those short range units of the survivors and now it's time to get all the horde together that's why you need to use the flare the flare is when you okay you know what stop jumping around all around the map let's get all the horde together because otherwise it's not gonna work out you see right now the horde even even after the flare it got separated at one point because there are survivors going to the lab, uh, right side and to the left side so you have to be really careful um, but we should be okay I'm just gonna deploy some steams back and one more time and we should be in business probably the gazer is perfect for the outlaws in here and we can convert one of the drones into a direct now that way the outlaws don't have any chance now the flare we shoot the flare against the snipers just to move <laughs> just to hurry up the horde a little bit and that's what you have to do in 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 big alleys like this one it's a good idea to just uh, shoot a flare and the flare is gonna like i say at the level that i have it is gonna increase also the speed of my troops so it's gonna allow me to reach my target faster 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 see another another good example of how to use these special perks for the infected the survivors also have like a molotov cocktail um i'm not really sure if i'm gonna do videos of the survivors probably i'm gonna leave that for some of my co-workers and buddies <laughs> but um for now i really want to dedicate my time to the infected maybe i'm planning to do the survivors in spanish that is something that i'm thinking i'm considering see another group of spec ops in there and it's kind of difficult to see how we're going to deploy all these units. Yeah. There you go. Here comes the horde. Hey, surprise, surprise. There is a, it's a group of snipers in there. You see, I didn't see those guys. Tricky, tricky, tricky. See, they were hiding behind the 
those buildings. I barely, barely was able to see one of the the rank of one of this unit. Now that's actually told me that there were troops in that area. There you go. Steam's back one more time. Let the horde get more powerful and see if we can bring down these lumberjacks real quick. That was that was that was really fast. No problems whatsoever. Uh, let's see if we can probably start deploying units from the back also, so we can attack the paramedic. We'll see. We'll see what we're doing. There you go. Ambush. Split. Divide and conquer. Remember the strategy? Is that really strategy? Divide and conquer. You can, you can split your enemies, and you will be able to take care of them. Alright, for example, right now it's a good way to use the flare because the drones usually are gonna try to attack buildings before anything else. So you, you notice that most of the drones were aiming to the hospital and only the special infected were aiming to the lumberjack and the other guys. So to avoid any problems, I decided to just um, deploy the flare and make sure that my troops are gonna attack um, the correct target. Gazer, no problema. Gazer was able to destroy all those uh, snipers or spec ops that were in that area. And the rest of the troops are in good shape. Oh, okay, that barricade actually, he can hit me from there. Interesting. Steam pack for the Colossus, of course. Now allow me to stay alive for a few extra seconds. That's all that I need. I don't even need the flare at this point. So it's just let's just finish that building. Well, let's call the. F you see, I want to shoot the flare so you guys see the the difference. How fast the rest of the drones or the horde is moving once that I call call them out with the with the flare. That was another good attack, right? Another good uh, example of how to use this uh, special. Perks, and we can probably probably have time for one more. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's see. Barcelona, one more time. Probably we can go for one more attack before the end of this episode. I have a lot of plans for the for War Zombie Nation. I have created. I'm gonna put it actually it's in the comment in the description of this video. I create a community for War Simulation Infected players so you can join me um, I don't remember exactly the link but I'm gonna post it in the description of this video go there, like it, follow me in there because I'm gonna be posting a lot of information about the infected players for War Simulation okay, I really wanna dedicate my channel to the zombies because there is a lot of survivors there is a lot of people doing survivor videos and, uh, and for some reason I believe that the, the infected I'm not gonna get into controversy, but I believe the infected has the they need an extra boost because in PvP if you check the ranks and the ranking you're gonna see them probably 90% of the players over there are survivors. It's really difficult to for the I mean for the infected player to get to the tops top locations. Let me shoot the flare in here so we can rush the troops and see if they can get ready. Right away and start aiming for those lumberjack. Um, and the reason is because, well, you can't really control your troops during a PvP match, right? Um, so depending how the computer deploy your drones, how the computer deploy your troops, uh, it makes um, it makes a big difference. So, but like I said, we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna have another special episode about PvP and all the stuff. I'm gonna try to play as much as we can before the release of the game. Uh, I know there is a new version coming in, but I'm not sure if it's going to be the final. I believe they're waiting for the final release of War Domination, so stay tuned, because this game is going to be amazing and available for Android, uh, PC, iOS. It's going to be awesome, okay? So stay tuned for more information about War Domination, especially the infected players, right? Because those, those guys had the coolers. <laughs> And here we go, one more time, Gazer was able to destroy the sniper, and let's see if we can throw the flare over there to rush this guy, these Colossus are so slow, but 
should be able to take care of there you go nice nice now now we are in now we're in business and we were able to take care of the rest of the troops before heading to the last target which is a group of lumberjacks and don't remember the name of the guy in the middle I haven't played with the survivors in so long oh look at the another tricky tricky location for the for the sniper so let's call the whore over there and make sure that they kill those guys before continue okay we can we can hold ourselves against the melee characters but those snipers in the back shooting your troops not a good idea okay not a good idea at all here we go yeah you go i think we're oh still nice I just I, I didn't realize that i thought we we were done with this Outlaws in there, Casey in the back. See, they, they can cover every angle. So that's that's the whole objective of the horror. The horror need to overrun the enemy. That's that's what we do. That's the only thing that keeps us alive. So in order to survive, you need to learn how to use all this skill, all these perks, and level them up as soon as possible. Okay, guys? This is the Game Hunter signing off. Take care, everybody.